Hey everybody, this is Rido, and we are back with another recording of Lego Batman the video game. So we've had two vehicle levels, uh, like last summer's vehicle level, and I bet we're not going to see any more, so I am looking forward to that. Let us continue the story. If they throw another vehicle level in this, in this last chapter, that would be amazingly bad. Here we go. I guess we're going to get an on-ground level of Scarecrow. Well, that plane crash was quite a thrill, don't you think? Now, where are we? Ah, Gotham Art Gallery. Beautiful Scarecrow, just beautiful. No, no, no. Not the paintings. My lovely grinning face. Hee hee hee. This is the Joker talking again. These two characters don't really matter. Uh, they were just all gag. <laughs> okay, so we're in the art gallery. Before, in a previous chapter, we were in a museum can practically guarantee you that these two sections were going to all be the same level at some point and got split in half. Can almost guarantee it. It's too big of a coincidence. Oh, I need to do something else there to be able to activate that with my joy buzzer. Let's see what else. water coming in trying to take you down. Let's go over here and push these, see what this activates. Ah! A secret. Pull this trigger. Alright. He has to come here, and then he has to come over here and pull the trigger. Shock it. And that gets me a little bit higher. There's a painting of Albert Einstein, I believe. I think I have to do this again. Darn it! Screwed it up. Let's go over here and look at this stuff for a little bit. Just make sure we didn't miss anything. And then we'll come back and deal with that. Notice that the paintings aren't counting towards any mini kit Or anything like that. Looks like an ice painting there. Knocked down another painting. Didn't see what it was first. A little bit of a shame there, but we'll probably see it in free play mode. Now, neither one of these have double jump. Joker has his buzzsaw, and I bet Scarecrow can go through, like, toxic gas. There's Mona Lisa there. Lego version of Mona Lisa. This one in the background is a famous painting called, I think it's called The Autopsy? Lego version of that. Can't open that. I'm gonna stand here and hope the other guy does everything he needs to do. Takes forever to get there. Shock that. Now I'll we'll come over here. And come over here. Good. Ah, so I'm gonna drop the chandelier. Didn't realize that. That's what I was gonna do. 
Will this guy open this? Nope. Only the Riddler. That doesn't even make sense. That certain doors would only be opened by the Riddler. Well, at least we can get back up now faster. a little bit here and switch to the other character and miss it again. Darn it! Am I supposed to jump up to that platform or is there something else I'm supposed to be doing? Even this little jump here is, should be a ramp. There's no reason to... Darn it. I'm not... I can't make that. And even if I got up there, what is that going to solve? And neither one of us have explosive anything. So what are we doing? Does Scarecrow have the ability to open this door? Oh. He does have the ability to open the door. Well, it would have been nice if the game had told me that. Silly slash buggy. Yeah, I want the games to tell me everything. I want, I want easy mode, particularly on a Lego Kids game. Everything should be super, stupidly easy. Usually these LEGO games lower my blood pressure. This one, with its poor quality, is raising it. You really don't even ask that much for a LEGO game compared to another, uh, like a AAA title game that for like adults who have played lots of other video games. Standards are usually a lot higher. Like, I haven't complained about the graphics at all, even though the... Well, I have complained about the graphics on this one, because this one had clear visual bugs as it's trying to render some of the scenes. Uh, but... The fact that it's low polygons and not that details I haven't complained about. Uh, the audio is very repetitive. I don't really consider that too bad of an issue for a kid's game. For a regular game, I would. Uh, the gameplay is not tight. It never is. It's very difficult to control some of the characters. So if you're a kid playing a Lego game, you go like, these characters don't move like I intended them to. That's not just you being bad at the controller, that's also uh, the game itself. The fact that I miss so many jumps. That I don't have like a super tight control. Uh, can show you that the control is just not as good as it could be. I guess we were done with that room. There must be some more free play stuff in there. So this is weird. A security camera that releases poisonous gas. Uh, that's not legal. Some of these paintings are repeats as the painting of the Queen. Probably Queen Elizabeth II, I would guess.
so he can walk right through the gas line. Oddly enough, Scarecrow cannot. That's strange. There's the screen. I think Picasso? Or Van Gogh? Uh, I think that's Van Gogh that did the screen. Yeah. Somewhat lacking in knowledge as far as art. I know a decent amount, but I could always learn more. And the thing about art too is that there are definitely pieces in art that are considered top tier that everybody should know about and reflect upon. And then there's a lot of artists out there that never get mentioned or shown in museums. Uh, and sometimes that's because their artwork is not that good and sometimes it's just because they didn't manage to get famous enough. So, I think the trick here is we want Scarecrow to come over this direction. So, am I trying to push this about halfway so I can get up here and then jump to that and then jump to that? No, I think I may need to push it all the way this way because it seems like from this point you can make almost any jump and land. Well, there's no like other way down. This isn't a buzz thing. No, it's just a punch thing. All right, that, that didn't quite get explained. So we break this piece of art to get that floor fixed. Then we come over here and break this piece of art to get this floor fixed. And then we push this this way. So then the scarecrow can get up here and help me out. Okay. I must have accomplished something because more bad guys showed up. Always an indicator that you're going the right direction. Push this guy now over this way. Go back to him. Make it up here. And turn this on. And that clears out the gas. And we can move on to what I think is the fourth scene in this level. Surprised there are that many. Clearly this art gallery could have just been that the same museum that we've seen before. I shot three paintings and there's holes behind them. There's a guy up there. Take that guy out. There's looks like the only way I could get in there is free play mode. So we got some pieces over here that we can build. We're not really anywhere close to the super villain level. Oh nope. You gotta go all the way just so you have enough time. And then it's on a timer, which is nice instead of having the switch characters and go back. Yeah, I feel like we're about to beat this level, but we're not close to the super bell. 
at all, and I didn't die enough to really explain why that would be the case. Joker always sits on the switches with his butt, which is a silly way to flip a switch. Probably not very safe way to do it either. And we're gonna build a generator station. And charge this up. That's gonna charge up what what is this gate? It's an elevator. Really? Level five. Same five of this level. Uh, whatever level this is, I don't believe it is level 5, but I meant to say scene 5. I'll need a double jump to get to that point. So that's all free play mode. But see, you can see here how you can drastically increase somebody's stud count just by putting a few barrels and bot crates because you can have it drop any amount, practically, of studs. Plus you can have studs on the ground. You don't really have to be super balanced about it, just as long as you don't run through half the level and, ha and can't get any studs, nobody's gonna even complain too much. Notice how the uh, coins are pointing me right to the direction I'm supposed to go. That way I don't get too lost or confused. I don't think I can get up here to get to this. Let's see, if I stand here, I'm, yeah, I don't have a double jump, so I can't reach that. Please to shoot me from over there. Let's go ahead and charge this up. Oh, I think I just jumped on it and go. Nope, that doesn't work that way. I think I have to start here and work the other direction. These little pusher items are interesting. I've never seen that done in a LEGO game. So we push this box this way onto the conveyor belt. It goes through the little uh, swingy things. And then through the little swingy things this way. And then through the little swingy things over there. And what did that accomplish. I think I can hop in here, so I'm perfectly fine. Joker is immune. It's really strange. Scarecrow is an immune also. So that gets another box pushed that way. Here's a big old section of barrels. So we're about to supervillain level. Are we breaking these? Or are we using this hook? I guess we're going to use that hook to pick him up. There we go, we made it to Super Villain. Get a little bit more studs. Could always use some more studs. So we gonna, we're going to play the crane game a little bit. Let's see. Now let me in the vehicle. 
and hit the B button. X and B seem to be doing the same thing, which is to say nothing. No, that's the way it's supposed to be done. It's just not working. Like, I can't push them at all. Doesn't make a lot of sense. I have to assume that this is just buggy. started right back over there. Oh, I see what I'm doing wrong. There is a forward and backward momentum to this. And I just screwed it up. I must have been hitting the button wrong. There we go. That was a little confusing that it goes really, really far back and it goes really, really far ahead. Anywho, let's use his ability to open the door. And more, please. Or goons or private security, I don't know what they are. I think they're SWAT. We hop in the vehicle to leave. Mm. That's how the Scarecrow gets captured. So, Harley Quinn, I don't know if she has been captured yet or not. Maybe, maybe not. But the Scarecrow has been. And... Joker will be the last guy. So, we still have Killer Moth. And... I think Kill Moth is next. And I think that's it, though. I can't think of any more bad guys in this chapter. So, maybe two more? That seems about right. Two more levels and then we'll be done. That sounds about right. Anyways, we are done with this recording. As always, I ask you to like share, subscribe, comment if you want to, and watch every second of my videos. All that helps me out. If you want to support me, you can click on my name right there. On the right will be a blue button that says support this channel. Click it and make a donation. And if you want to friend or follow me on basically any social media sites, there's a whole bunch of links down below. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.